All right, Todd's back before we get to him, though. Uh, 25, 24 hour. How about a two hour delay? 24 would be great. Get the day off. <laughs> That'd be really nice. Two hour delay. <laughs> RSU 67. That's in Lincoln. Two hour delay if you're going to school there this morning. So there you go. Uh, Pretty soon you'll have 24 hour delays <laughs> right. for like 10 days because you'll be on Christmas break. Yeah, but today, I, just two. My, so. my kids have, let's see, they have a half day on Thursday, a full day off on Friday. And then I just found out yesterday, they don't go back until Tuesday. Yeah, we have that too. You have the same thing? But they, they don't have a half day Thursday. They have a full yeah. day Thursday, but then they're off from Friday until Tuesday, the mm. 3rd of January. Yeah, yes. see, I was thinking it was literally just going to be like Monday through Friday of next week. Yeah. But they, they've extended yeah, it on, like on either end. Yeah, it's 11 days. Yeah, so it's, yeah. it's a lot longer than I was anticipating. So. Yeah, well. Looks like we have a little, few more things to figure out to do with them, right? <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. All righty. Well, it's, uh, it is a school day. And um, aside from that little blemish in RSU something, uh, the two-hour delay in RSU something, 67. 67 I'm hearing. It's RSU 60. I didn't know they went that high. Did you know they went to 67? There are 67 RSUs in Maine. Don't forget the SADs. And there are more SADs. Oh, that's a lot of those. <laughs> so complicated. <laughs> um, we're actually still seeing some snow showers uh, in the county this morning, and it's from the same storm. Snow showers from Allagash all the way to Presque Isle and Caribou. So roads up there are still dicey. Temps are in the 20s right now in Lewiston and Bangor, both 28. Augusta's 27, Portland is 24. There's a breeze and it's going to be a little gusty through the day, so wind chills will be a factor. They'll uh, they'll feel like the teens and 20s for the most part. A little trough hanging back over northern Maine. This will continue to slide away and dissipate and high pressure will return. So no storms for a while. In fact, we only get one this week. It comes in on Friday and it looks fierce with a lot of wind and eventually a lot of rain too. Clouds and flakes to start up north bright to the south where we're going to have sunshine most of the day. And there will still be a few sketchy spots. I mean, we got a lot of snow on Saturday. Cleanup was yesterday and there was some refreezing last night. So just be careful. Watch your step a little bit in the driveway and places like that. No change midday. Clouds flakes up north. Lots of sun to the south. It'll be brisk. It'll be breezy. It will feel cold out there today. And for the evening again, no change. Clouds and flakes. Sunshine here. Wind remains active through sunset. Here are your highs today. Normal is 37, a little better than that in Portland, 39. Things will soften up a little bit. Bangor's high 36, staying around the freezing mark for the mountains and for the north. Tomorrow, the low shifts away. The winds relax. High pressure works in. Things look real good. We'll have a, quite a bit of sunshine middle of the week. By Thursday, though, this high begins to slide east. Clouds will increase, and here comes a big storm system which will try to redevelop, but it won't likely get to the coastline, which will allow for warmer air to work in. It'll still be present at the start when the precip arrives late Thursday night and early Friday morning, so we'll have a little dose of snow or mixed precip, but there won't be much, and we are going to fly over to rain, and there could be like one to three inches worth of rain. I'm actually more concerned about these gusty winds, though, out of the southeast. It's a bad direction. And some of these gusts Friday afternoon and Friday evening could top 50, even 60 miles per hour. Sadly, it looks like another widespread power outage event Friday into Friday night. Hopefully it doesn't happen. Hopefully the storm shifts and weakens, but right now it looks very impactful. Small crafts are up. Seas four to six. Northwest winds gusting to 35. So we'll have some sun out there, but clouds and flurries up north. High temperatures in the mid to upper 30s. Tomorrow's mostly sunny, 35 to 40 degrees. Still looking at a lot of sun on Wednesday. A little cooler, though, with highs in the mid 30s. Clouds increase Thursday afternoon. Mixed precip early Friday morning goes to rain. It becomes very windy, a high near 50, which is just going to roast a lot of the snowpack that's out there, which is not good. And then we head into the weekend and temperatures crash. Christmas Day, I've got to put the icon on. I, I didn't have time. We're having computer issues, so I, I was kind of scrambling there. But um, Sunday, obviously Christmas. And, and it, it'll be quiet, you know, good for driving around. Um, it's going to be cold with a high near 30. Crazy to see 50 degrees on December 23rd with a storm that's not going to be snow, but it's going to cause more damage than if it was snow. It's right. It I looks mean, really bad. You'd be better off with snow timing. on Friday. So, yeah, yeah. I, I, I 
whole yeah. I totally agree yeah. with that, you know, wholeheartedly. So All right. We'll, we'll we'll you know, we'll keep passing along info, but um, it, it we could have some problems with power outages. Spike the eggnog on Friday. Oh, it's it's already <laughs> spiking. It's already <laughs> spiking. All right, we'll get through it. Thank yeah. you, sir.